And as far as carbs being created equal, no. Actually, the nutrition plans that I write, I have three different kinds of carbohydrates most of the time. Um, I like to divvy it up. One big reason is that um, I enjoy eating sweet stuff, having candy or pastry or something like that. If you can find a low-fat pastry or anything, like a fig newton bar, that's always the kind of a standard moderate to high glycemic index carbohydrate. Uh, you can have those around training time or if you need a quick source of energy to support performance in an early training session in the morning. Um, it works kind of like training carbs, but training carbs are absolutely the highest you can go on the glycemic index, which means it gets digested and turned into blood glucose faster. So the energy is they're quicker, but with super sugary stuff and refined sugars, if you have it too fast or too much all at once, you will jack your blood sugar up. And what happens after your blood sugar shoots up is insulin goes up and it drives your blood sugar back down. So you start feeling lethargic. And even though insulin is the most anabolic hormone in the body that we have, it's really it, in that point, it's kind of hindering performance and training. And it's going to make you feel like shit, honestly. <laughs> But if you don't like those spikes or if you have sweet stuff and, you know, uh, even a little bit sipping on your training shake during training, if that makes you feel lethargic, then maybe you need to have a lower glycemic uh, carb in general. Uh, a healthy carb that will have away from training is below a 55 on the glycemic index scale. Uh, if you just search glycemic index, I believe it's the University of Sydney in Australia has an incredible database of carbohydrates and their associated glycemic index scores. I use that all the time. And I can't tell you how many foods there are on there. They're all carbohydrate based. Um, but you can find, you can filter it by different carbohydrate uh, GI scores. And you can see the differences there. But basically low GI carbohydrates, they're gonna cause a slower increase of blood sugar. Whereas sugary, super high GI, Carbs are going to cause spikes in blood glucose and then the corresponding insulin response comes along after that. And if your blood sugar only goes up to here because it's trending slowly, you're only going to have a small release of insulin. That's kind of what you want away from training. After training, we want that insulin response go into that food coma if possible because that's when uh, insulin is storing all that muscle, uh, the blood glucose, turning it into muscle glycogen, and it also helps to get a good nap there too.